What's going on guys, Gast here giving you a few beginners tips on Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valencia. This game can seem pretty intimidating at first as the mechanics are quite different from the previous titles, especially if you're fresh off Awakening and Fates. So here's a few tips that I've picked up since I've been playing that I think could help you guys out. First of all, villagers will react to events unfolding in their village, so if you see some new events, like people showing up at your village gate, wink wink, Check in with what the villagers have to say about it. I heard what the knights said, but it sounds like a load of horse plop to me. Similarly to Gaiden, enemies will completely ditch you if they're in danger of dying and will try to find a safe haven in the forts. Seriously, if they're fatally wounded, they will completely ignore you and book it straight to the nearest fort they can find. Be sure to kill them before they reach it though, because once they're on it, they get a plus 40 avoid boost and health regeneration and can prove to be a serious pain in the butt. In dungeons, striking at enemies will reduce some of their HP, giving you an advantage in battle. But be careful about picking fights with anyone you can find. Place will be tough. I can't keep this up. The more damage you take in battle, the more fatigue you will gain. Make sure to keep your units fresh by giving them food either on or off the battlefield. Health as well as fatigue will be replenished if you use provisions mid-fight. Your villagers will be able to promote quickly, just make sure you don't overlevel your units. The higher level your units become past the promotion point, the less buffs they will receive upon promotion, so change class as soon as you can. And for villagers, that's level 3. Regarding promotion as a whole, promote as early as possible. I mean it. EXP rates after around level 10 start to severely slow down until one promotes and gets good XP rates once more. Additionally, promotion bonuses work differently in Gaiden and Echoes. In Echoes, promotion boosts only increase a character's stats to the base stats of the new class that that unit promotes to. For example, a mercenary's base skill and speed are 8 and 10, respectively. Now look at Grey here, he has 6 skill and 5 speed. Now look at Cliff, he has 3 skill and 4 speed. But a mercenary promotion will bring them both to 8 and 10 skill and speed. So it's actually beneficial to promote early, as having lower stats when you're about to promote just means that your promotion gains are actually going to be higher. If a character's current stats are higher than the base stats of the class they are promoting to, no promotion boosts will occur at all. So not only are you severely slowing down your EXP rates just to max 20, but you are probably not going to get any promotion boosts anyway. Don't waste your time guys, promote as soon as you can in this game. Fight the urge! And one last note about promoting. Don't worry about early promoting mages before they've learned all their mage skills. After promoting from a mage, their base level will reset back to 1, but they will still learn their spells at the level they were supposed to, so there's literally nothing to worry about. Thinking of who to promote to what class can be difficult, so it's best to understand who it is you're working with. You should check out their growths and promotion gains to see what class fits best for them, and if you're stressing about mages or clerics promoting, try looking up what spells they can learn, as it can be a deciding factor in what you want to make them into. Since you can revisit dungeon rooms after events occur, sometimes you will be able to find new items that weren't there before, like this leftover ale I re-found after finishing the final room of the first dungeon. The Lion Fountains will grant you a plus one stat boost to whatever stat the fountain represents, but be careful, while there are two fountains, they only share three uses between the both of them, meaning after you use the fountains three times, the water dries out and you will be unable to continue using them. So choose wisely. The silver coins you start to pick up will be used for forging weapons into stronger variants of themselves, but you can only get your items forged at blacksmiths, which are located in certain villages. And lastly, just like Fire Emblem Gaiden, hitting up, down, left, right, and then up again on the title screen will unlock the sound room. To access the sound room afterwards, go to extras, then hit the sound room that just appeared. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment, and please subscribe for more Fire Emblem Echoes content and tips going forward. I'm Gas, and I'll catch you next time. Deuces.